What exactly does a covert narcissist want in a relationship? Their subconscious desires run the whole show and we're breaking them down in this video. Hey, I'm Dr. Melissa. I'm a trauma expert and top doctor. And in this video and on this channel, I help you identify the hidden narcissists in your life, identify the impact that they're having on your life, and then turn that trauma and that drama into gold, becoming stronger and more powerful than you ever were before. If this sounds like exactly what you need, click subscribe, click that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. Today we're talking about what exactly a covert narcissist wants in a relationship. You feel you've given your partner everything they could possibly want. You've given them everything you want in a relationship. Love, compassion, understanding, patience, attention, support, empathy. You want to share your life with them. You want to grow old together. And they seem to have an entirely separate and different set of wants and needs. On the surface, the covert narcissist wants what you want. They want to be loved, honored, and cherished. They want to feel supported and understood. They want a forever partner, someone to grow old with. These are the things the covert narcissist knows they want. Then there are the things they subconsciously want. Here are some other things the covert narcissist knows they want. Elevation of their status. Being with someone bright, attractive, wealthy, successful, funny, connected, or talented makes them feel special and of higher value than they would all on their own. Resources. The covert narcissist desires access to financial or other resources that they don't have available to them on their own. They actually feel entitled to have and use these resources. Loyalty. They expect you to confirm their stories even when you know they're not true. To eliminate relationships with your friends and your exes, to put the narcissist above everything else. Respect for their boundaries. The covert narcissist expects you to not look at their phone, their desk, their computer, their pile of papers, anything that they don't want you to see. They expect you not to talk while they're watching TV or not to talk to others on the phone while they're home. Unconditional trust. They expect you not to ask too many questions and to instead blindly trust what they say, no matter how ridiculous. To be right always. The covert narcissist believes they are right always. Sometimes you'll even hear this in their language when they say, I'm right, don't you agree? Or, am I wrong? Or, if only you were educated on this subject, you'd agree with me. To win at everything. Whether it is closing a tough client or beating their five-year-old grandson at tic-tac-toe, they want to win at everything. Compliance. They expect you not to rock the boat. To shut up and be who they want you to be. From cleaning to your intimate relations, to not challenging what it is that they say. Power and control. Much like winning, they want to be in control. A covert narcissist may want to make it look like you are in control, but they want to be the puppet master behind the scenes. Now let's talk about what the narcissist subconsciously wants. Regulation of their emotions. 
This is key. The covert narcissist is unable to regulate their own emotions. An emotional dysregulation results in a plummeting of their self-esteem and a large amount of shame. They expect you to prevent this from ever happening. Narcissistic supply. Like blood to a vampire, narcissists require narcissistic supply for their very survival. They will do anything to get it and they will do anything to keep it. Attention. A covert narcissist wants to be the center of attention, whether that's by having caught you and being in this relationship, outdoing their friends, even sharing self-deprecating stories to get a laugh. And even more surprising, having yet another difficult conversation about their hurtful behaviors positive or negative does not matter in this instance. Attention is attention. The covert narcissist wants confirmation that their thoughts, their words, their actions are correct. They want your approval. They want to feel that deep down they are worthy of existence. Admiration and praise. They want to hear that they did a great job even when they didn't. They want others to see them as a hero. Victim status. The covert narcissist wants to be seen as a victim in every story. They want others to see that they are treated poorly in every relationship, that they get a bad rap at work that they've been mistreated and traumatized by their family. And bonus points to the covert narcissist, if there is a story where they can be seen as both the victim and the hero at the same time. Confirmation of their false reality. They want you to confirm this reality to them and to the world. This validates the false narrative that they have carefully crafted and modified since childhood. Not only are they gaslighting others, but they are also gaslighting themselves. So what's the covert narcissist's greatest desire? The covert narcissist believes that they have normal thought patterns, hopes, and desires. They believe that everyone thinks and feels the way that they do. They believe that their goals in the relationship are the same as yours. They believe they deserve to be happy. The covert narcissist also believes they want to work on the relationship. They want to develop great communication with you. They want to meet your needs. The vast majority are entirely unaware of their subconscious needs and desires. They are often unaware that they are lying. They are simply telling the story they wish was true. They see you as cruel for saying otherwise. Their greatest desire is for you to see them as the person they want to be. If this video resonates with you, type, I see the disorder in the comments, then like this video, share it with someone who needs to hear this message. Share it far and wide so that everyone becomes aware, so that everyone can avoid getting sucked into these devastating relationships. And if you're one of those people, someone who's already been sucked in, and you want to move from narcissist victim to narcissist survivor, I invite you to download my free guide at narclesslife.com to see where you are on that five-step process of healing. 
I am Dr. Melissa, and I will see you in the next video.